built into Excel is a very useful convert function. So it means you don't have to remember all these various conversions. So just to show you how it works, I'm going to use the function wizard. The function is called convert. And what you need to do is very simple. So what's the number? So I've set this up already. So it's one. In this case, I want to go from one kilometer to one mile. You then need to use the particular um, letters that match the unit. So for example, one kilometer from that unit to that unit. So you'll see we've set it up like that. Immediately, it's telling you what the answer is. So when I say OK, it then gives you the answer. Just going back into it, the most difficult thing probably about this formula is just knowing what the various um, symbols are, which mean the various things. So if you go into the function wizard and you click on help on this function, you will come to this page. This is the page that shows it all. You'll see it's over here. And when I open it, you'll see there's every listed conversion, except for, for whatever reason, it actually doesn't show kilometers, it does show miles. So kilometers is km. But you can see here, you can get any one of them. So for example, if you want to go from grams to pounds, it's G to LPM. So I'm just going to copy these down. And what you'll see, it's converting Celsius to Fahrenheit, kilogram to pounds, inches to centimeters, millimeters to inches, meters to feet, and all of these others. So there is weight and mass. There's a whole bunch of distance ones. Again, no kilometer for some reason. Time metrics pressure, force, energy, power, mag magnetism, temperature, volumes, areas, some general information, speed. So all the help you could get is here. You just need to get used to what you would typically use. This means you no longer need to know the um, numbers or the calculations to do. And more importantly, it's consistent ac across every spreadsheet.